Although Acer has owned Gateway since 2007, it hasn't made a single laptop since then. However, Gateway was recently revived for a new line of laptops offered mainly by Walmart. These brand new computers are not made by Acer, they are made by Bmorn Technology, a company based in Shenzhen, which also owns the Gateway trademark and has a license to use it on current white box designs. They are available in a variety of colors, including the appealing teal and purple of the review units, and have recently been updated with an AMD Ryzen 5 4600H processor, an 8GB of DDR4 RAM, a 256GB of solid-state drive, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphics processing unit, a Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0 wireless connectivity options. Before we continue, if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and the link for this laptop is available in the description below so make sure to check it out for more details and the current price. The Gateway Creator Series successfully achieves its goal of a clean, minimalist appearance, those who want a straightforward yet reliable design would like it, its flat matte black plastic hood has a silver Gateway logo engraved in the middle. The interior of the laptop is very straightforward, featuring a black deck and an end-to-end -end keyboard with backlighting. A power button and a performance button for choosing the power mode are located on the top right corner of the chassis. It offers three different performance settings. We don't often see a low-cost gaming laptop with such a sleek appearance. The screen is remarkably thin on both sides and on top bezels. However, the large bottom bezel takes away from what Gateway was trying to do with the creator. Additionally, the bottom-mounted webcam is not helping the overall design. The Gateway weighs in at 4.2 pounds or 1.9 kilogram which makes it lightweight compared to other laptops in its price range and measures 0.8 by 14.2 by 9.7 inches. The keyboard on the Gateway Creator series is without a doubt its weakest component. The keys are too far apart, and the layout is too wide. While that's good for games, typing for work has never felt quite right, and the keys also have a subpar click. However, the Gateway have an RGB key illumination, which is always a nice touch and appeals to gamers, despite having only a single zone of lighting control, it's a good addition to the budget system. The touchpad is also not very good. Although the Windows Precision drivers make clicking feel flimsy and cheap, it is fairly responsive to Windows 10 motions like two-finger scrolling and three-finger tabbing. The laptop is surrounded by ports on three sides. On the left side, there is an Ethernet port, a USB 2.0 port, a headphone microphone combo jack, and a Kensington cable lock slot. On the right, there are two USB 3.1 Type-A ports and an SD card reader, on the rear side, you will find one HDMI port and two mini display ports for video outputs, a USB Type-C port, and the AC adapter connector. If you wish to connect your laptop to a ton of external monitors for any purpose, this is the best option for you. The webcam on the Gateway has a 720p resolution, which suffers from hazy faces, poor background sharpness, and flat colors, similar to other laptop cameras. The Gateway Creator 15 house a downfiring speakers with the renowned THX spatial audio technology, which can definitely be heard when watching movies, playing games, or listening to music. However, it doesn't have much bass, which makes it sound a little hollow. Despite that, the sound is still decent. The 15.6-inch LCD IPS Full HD 120Hz display on the Gateway Creator series is decent but not particularly bright. Using the Control Center program, you can change the display settings to Standard, Gaming, Video, Reading, or Custom modes. Each one makes a small adjustment, and the difference is apparent. The Gateway system uses the same 1080p IPS panel as found on the budget Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3i and Legion 5 gaming laptops. Brightness may be average for the category, but practically all other aspects including contrast ratio, colors, and response times are mediocre. However some colorimeter measurements reveal decent grayscale and color delta E values, furthermore, 
the color accuracy just marginally improved after calibration, which makes it adequate for doing Photoshop and Lightroom work, as well as gaming, especially with its 120Hz refresh rate. In terms of performance, our model is configured with a 6-core and 12-thread AMD Ryzen 5 4600H CPU with a base clock speed of 3GHz and a turbo boost speed of up to 4GHz to be as fast or even faster than more expensive laptops running on the 10750H Core i7 or 10875H Core i7 processors. The 1080p 120Hz display and GeForce GTX 1650 graphics will also allow for smooth browsing and 1080p gaming at lower settings, even though the GTX 1650 GPU isn't strong enough to take full advantage of the 120Hz refresh rate in more difficult games, flying past 60 frames per second are certainly doable in some instances, especially lightweight esports titles, and here are the playable games with their respective frame rates. Furthermore, the Creator Series systems target creative users, these computers are designed for users that want a PC for applications that allow creativity like Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom, and more, where a GPU would help greatly for the experience, though we wouldn't advise exporting hours of 4K video using it. Both the 8GB RAM and the 256GB solid-state drive in the Gateway Creator are not particularly interesting, but accessing them to upgrade either or both is simple, and for that, there are one additional M.2 slots and one free SOTM slot for expansion are available, which is highly recommended for people who perform numerous tasks at once. We will put upgradable options down in the description below. In terms of battery life, you won't be able to use the computer without plugging it in and charging it for the entire day with its maximum battery life of 5 hours. Due to their components, gaming and creator laptops have always had issues with battery life, although it only managed to score 4 hours when on the better performance setting, it is still better than other gaming systems on this same level. Before we conclude we must mention why you should and shouldn't buy this laptop. You should buy this laptop if you want a good value for many laptop, buy if you want a sleek thin design, buy if you want a fast Ryzen 5 CPU and Nvidia 1650 GTX GPU at this price range, buy if you want a decent display and sound, buy if you want lots of video outs, buy if you want a 120Hz display. Don't buy if you don't want shorter battery life, don't buy if you don't want a mediocre keyboard, don't buy if you want a bright display in a well-lit environment, don't buy if you want awkward webcam placement, don't buy if you don't like a fan that runs loud. Thank you for watching, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.